Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Verdict TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline. Nigerians keep blaming INEC, but they forget about the soul mind. The National Assembly. Chidolue. Once again, you're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning into this channel. Kindly listen to the hand. The news details. A senior lawyer and former director of the Nigerian Sports Authority, Dr. Oke Chidolue, said that the Nigerians have consistently expressed their grievances regarding the corrupt practices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. He believes that the blame should primarily fall on the National Assembly, which, in his opinion, deserves a greater share of responsibility. Dr. Chidolwe disclosed that it was the National Assembly which promulgated the act that gave INEC the authority to act the way it did. In his own words, O.K. said, It is important to acknowledge the truth. When Nigerians express their concerns about the corrupt and inefficient practices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, we often overlook and more often than not, absolve our National Assembly from responsibility. However, it is the National Assembly that plays a significant role as the enabler-in-chief that crafted a cunning electoral act in 2022 that facilitated INEC's action. INEC was well aware that the declared president-elect would be sworn in as the commander-in-chief without having to defend his mandate in court. This knowledge led the INEC chairman to audaciously tell aggrieved candidates to go to court, knowing fully well that the public's confidence in the judiciary was severely lacking, comparable to that of a motto park tout. Back to the 2023 presidential election, um, everybody has been saying that INEC, um, INEC actually uh, was part of those that contributed um to the election that made it actually um uh, that made it a flawed election because it was rigged and um INEC is also aware that it was rigged. INEC was part of those that actually rigged the election. Both INEC as a commission and um the INEC chairman they cannot tell us that they are not aware of all the malpractices that went on during the twenty twenty three presidential election that brought Tinubu in. So um so uh during the 2023 election the after the election um uh, Tinubu was to be sworn in on May 29 and after the election um the senior lawyer and former director of the Nigeria Post Authority Dr. OK is making us know that INEC is not the one that um Nigeria should actually blame that people should blame the National Assembly because they're the one that made the laws the electoral act in 2022 that made INEC to act the way they act they acted in the twenty twenty three election that it's National Assembly that people ought to just not talk about the National Assembly when they are blaming uh, people about how the election went. They they leave National Assembly out of it. Whereas National Assembly is the root. They don't have made the electoral acts that made INEC act the way they acted. So Dr. K now is saying that Nigeria should stop talking about talking to INEC alone. That they should focus also on National Assembly because National Assembly is part of the problem. That the 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 mm, National Assembly actually knew that Tinubu would be inaugurated. They knew, but still INEC also knew that the 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 um the president would be inaugurated on May twenty nine. But still INEC asked the many candidates to go to court and fight for their mandates, even when they knew that Tinubu would be inaugurated even before the whole case um, gets to court and, uh, and the likes. They still asked the other people to go to court when they knew that they finished work 
and Tinubu cannot be removed like since they've sworn in him yeah, sworn him in it has never happened like since 1979 in the history of Nigeria that a uh, president that has already been inaugurated should be removed so the INEC and the National Assembly is actually the problem in this 2023 presidential election. So, do you agree with this? Kindly share your view in the comment section. And don't forget to like and share. And also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. We've come to the end of today's news. Thank you for listening to the end.